फंडमेंट अदाय डिफरेंशियल फोम इक्वेशन इंटग्रल फोम इक्वेशन अंडरवेम परेसल फस्ट फोर स्टाटिक फीलड्स अगर क्यों ना डेरवेशन पे ना टाइम वेरिंग फीलड्ड अब सेंशन वरदे ओके फोर टाइम स्टाटिक फीलड्स ना आदमी ओके द फस्ट इक्वेशन ओके स्टाटिक फीलड्डे केस ना इक्वेशन मैक्सल इक्वेशन वरूम अलग फस्ट वण ना डेरवे फस्ट वण इन वे ना इलेक्ट्रो स्टाटिक्स गोसस् लो वे फ्रम दि गोस लो गोस लो ना इक्वेशन एवडे पर सें प्रूफा ओके क्यू एनलोस विल बी ईक्वल टू इंटग्रल डी डॉ डी एस अलग विल बी सैम दिस् वन अब क्यू एनलोस वित्पेक्ट ना वोल्यूम इंटग्रल रो वि डी वि विल बी ईक्वल टू इंटग्रल डी डॉट डी एस ओके This equation is called as my integral form. Okay, इधर यानी यानी ने integral form में तो बोला है ना। इन्हें इनकी बढ़ने तक apply मेटम। E side ले integral d रो d s चलने। अब इनके क्या रे apply मेटम? My divergence यारम। कि इन्हें divergence apply इन्हें समय तक this equation will be equal to integral del dot d dv इट्टम। तो इधम dv इधम dv आना। रेंडम same volume इनके लाये दोनों we can equate it. अगर समय कंपेर रोवी विल बी ईक्ट डेल डॉटी अल सो रोवी विल बी ईक्ट टू डेल डॉटी सो दिस् मई डिफरेंश्यल फोम ऑफ मैक्सल इक्वेशन ओके डिफरेंश्यल फोम ऑफ दि मैक्सल इक्वेशन ओके ना गोस स्लो सी नो दैट इन देश मैग्नटो स्टाटिक्स और ईसोलेट मैग्नटिक चार्ज ड एक्सीस्ट ना अल वी नो द रिलेशन दैट ओके सै विल बी ईक्ट टू दें B will be equal to d psi by ds. ये रिलेशन हम करेंगे। अलेक मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स डेंसिटी, नम्बर डे मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स ये टुला रिलेशन आने दे। तो इधर ना आई कैन सी दैट, ओके विल बी इक्वल टू psi विल बी इक्वल टू ना रिक्यूम इंटीग्रल b रो ds। नम्बर कंडर आने वाले। अलेक नम्बर डे मैग्नेटोस्टैटिक्स ला पढ़ी से � By law of conservation of charges, we are going to say that an individual magnetic charge will not be existing. That means, we are going to say that a closed surface, a closed magnetic field, that will pass in a total flux will be equal to zero. So, we are going to say that a closed surface will be equal to zero. So, we are going to say that a closed surface will pass in a magnetic field, will be equal to zero. Magnetic field will pass in a flux will be equal to zero. So, this will be equal to zero. So, integral b dot d is equal to zero. इंटग्रल फोम दिस् ऑलसो दि दिस्ट दि इंटग्रल फोम इन सपो डी एस अल ओके या इंटग्रल डेल डॉट बी डी वि विल बीक्ल टू जीरो कैन से दैट डेल डॉट बी विल बी ईक्वल टू जीरो सो दिस् द डिफरेंश्यल फोम ऑफ इक्वेशन ओके अड़ के तेर्ड इक्वेशन पर It is actually derived from the law of conservation of electric charges. Oh, we can say that from the conservative nature of electric field. Okay, we have a relative field considered. Okay, okay, there are two points. Okay, we have a point A and we have a point B. Okay, a charge is being moved from the point A to point B. Again, at the same time, the potential energy V A B is being derived. Similarly, one point or charge is being moved from A to B. This is moved from A to B. So, it is being moved from A to B. So, it is full path covered. अगर कोटेंश्यल आोटेंश्यल सपोजा वि बी ए अगर पोटेंश्यल वि ए बी विल बी ईक्ट माइन वि बी ए के लिए ओके आफ एम आडिंग दी वि ए बी प्लस वि बी ए विल बी ईक्ल टू जीरो अदायम विल बी कवरी दि एयर पात अल ना बीलोटी बी ए लोटे अब एयर पात कवरी दि इक्वेशन इक्वेशन फोर पोटेंश्यल ओके आो इंडिविज्वल और इंडिविज्वल पोटेंश्यल के वि विल बी ईक्ट माइन इ डॉ डी एल नमेंगे इक्वेशन अल आसो वि बी 
And in this case, we will consider the whole path. So, instead of this question, we will apply the whole path. 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 As we are applying for the entire path, we will apply the closed integral e dot dl. That is, the entire equation can be replaced by for a closed path e dot dl, which will be equal to the whole potential v. Okay? Will be equal to 0. Now, if we apply the whole path, we will apply the whole path. Will be equal to 0. Okay? Will be equal to 0. So, this is my another integral form. Okay, from the, in the conservative nature of electric field. So, here we are going to apply the DL. So, we can apply the Stokes theorem. So, Stokes would apply the same as the integral del cross C ds will be equal to 0. And from that, del cross C will be equal to 0. So, this is my differential form of equation. Okay, so that is the third part, third form. Now, this is the fourth form. We have to apply the null equations. कि नाले का रिस्पॉन्डिंग इंटीग्रल लाउंड डिफरेंशियल फॉर्म्स होंडर, सो नाले आप देखो इसलिए यहाँ बारे में आता है, ओके, वी नो दी एम्बियर सर्किट लो, अलेक फ्रॉम दी एम्बियर सर्किट लो, आप अपने नम्बर पार्ने इंट्रोडक्शन के अंदर, दी टोटल करंट इंक्लूज विल बी इक्वल टू इंटीग्रल ह one close path, okay? Now, in this case, we will replace the i in close. It could be replaced by the current density. The integral of current density 0 ds will be equal to integral h dot dl. By the socks here, open integral del cross h into ds. Okay? Now, how do we equate the equation? J by del cross h into ds. We will apply the equations in the module 1. Okay? We will apply the equations in the module 1. Okay? We will combine the equations. अंगने हम बोला ना हमारे मैक्सवेल सिक्वेशन के टेन है केट सिंबल ओके जे विल बी इक्वल टू डेल्टा सेंस ओके सो दिस इस माय डिफरेंशियल फॉर्म ऑफ इक्वेशन एंड इवर तक इस ले आई एन क्लोज इक्वल टू हेस्टी एल दिखती है ले इफ हम राइटिंग फिर वो डेडी था ने आई एन क्लोज नरे में इंदर ना इंटीग्रल जीरो डी एस Okay, now we are going to talk about the static fields in the case of 4 Maxwell's equation. Now we are going to talk about the time varying fields. So the next one, time varying fields. So again in the case of time varying fields, we are going to talk about 4 equations. Now the first equation is going to talk again from the Gauss's law. We are not going to talk about the same case can be applied in the case of time varying fields also. So we are going to talk about the integral equation. First integral v dot ds was equal to integral rho v dv. Okay, this was my integral form and this is the differential form I know del dot d will be equal to rho v in the gritty. Alright, so this is from the Gauss law. And second equation again, we will see that we will see that we will see that isolated magnetic charge doesn't exist in the world. In that case, we will see integral and differential form I know. Integral form in the rainbow, we will see that integral b dot dl will be equal to 0, b dot ds will be equal to 0 in the gritty. And similarly, corresponding differential form in the rainbow, del dot b will be equal to 0. In the case of the third case, we are going to say Faraday's law. From the Faraday's law, it states that the EMF induced, the induced EMF in a closed circuit, okay, I know you suppose we induced. Okay, induced EMF, we are induced EMF. EMF in a closed circuit will be equivalent to the rate of change of the magnetic flux linkage associated with it. Okay, so this is our Faraday's law. So, this is our third Maxwell's equation in the case of primary field. Okay, so this is the case of V indius will be equal to minus D psi by dt. And psi equal to, in the case of the magnetic field, psi will be equal to integral B dot ds. That's why we have to say psi will be equal to psi. Magnetic flux. So, psi can be replaced by minus d by dt integral b dot ds. In integral, we have to do it. So, minus integral dou by dou t partial light to do. So, b into ds. This side will be v induced. v induced is not the same. This is not the same. v equal to a total path in the case of integral e dot dl. So, we can just write it as integral e dot d here. So, this is my integral form. In the next step, I will apply the stocks here. So, stocks apply. 
this will be integral okay del cross e ds will be equal to minus integral dou b by dou t into ds okay so comparing these two equations i can write it as del cross e will be equal to the e side le, minus dou b by dou t this is my differential form the equation okay in the equation we will see we will displacement current density. What is the last section? Okay, displacement current density. Displacement current density equation. We know that. We will see the same displacement the same proof. Okay, that is the same proof. Okay, so same proof. We will see the same proof. We will see the same proof. We will see the same proof. Okay, so the conclusion we get is that integral h dot dm will be equal to the integral j plus jd ds. This is the displacement current density. We will extra add it. That is the violation of the rule. That is the term of the term of jd with the value dou b by dt. Dou t. So this is the integral form of the equation and in the corresponding differential form of the term del cross h. This is the h dot dl. So we have integral del cross h. Ds will be equal to again j plus jd into ds which implies del cross h will be equal to the arikim. j plus jd the value in the dou b by dou t. So this is the differential form of the equation. Okay. Pa idhaan namada Maxwell's equations being derived from the fundamental laws in the case of static as well as the time varying fields.